Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from beautiful Wrigley Field. Today, game one of a quick two-game series between the Milwaukee Brewers and the Chicago Cubs. Dan Baker makes his big league debut right after this. Digging in the switch hitter, number 87, go, a real go. threat with the bat, right, currently the go. National League number home run leader. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's toward the corner and deep. And nearly extra bases to start the inning, but this winds up foul by inches. Wow. Dan Dero, these Brewers, as they begin play here this afternoon, they've had it go in the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Matty, I think the keys to winning today's game, let's focus on the offense. They have to hunt the fastball, they cannot miss it. You can't allow yourself to get deep in the count and have to deal with off speed stuff exploding out of the zone. You get 1-0, 2-0, 3-1, what I like to refer to as count leverage. You have to find a way to that move traffic nothing. with that the heat. Nobody out, runner on first. Hayward. And he will take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Here's Chris Bryant now. He's come up in big spots like this more than once this year. Currently second in the NL in RBIs. A throw behind the runner at second, and he'll dive back in safely. None out, runners at first and second. Line drive to left. That's in there, base hit. And the run will score as the Cubs strike first to lead it 1 0. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 87. Number 87. Singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, and this one has hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. Slide, the slide, relay. Slide, slide. But he is in there with a triple. In most parks of the league, that would be a round tripper. I mean, he hits this thing probably more than 400 feet, but he'll have to be content with a triple. Has to feel good about the way he hit it, though. Here's Jason Hayward now. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Jason Hayward! The 2-1 home. Hit on the ground to third. Shaw gloves it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, number 87. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. and It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. 
Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Now the 2 0. 3 0 now. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on deck circle. Here it is, the 3 0. Bullet back up the middle. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he is in the second base with a double, his third hit this afternoon. Well, you can see why these fans are so excited about this rookie. Yeah, Matt, just a nice piece of hitting by this youngster. Not only does it look like he's going to be a solid contributor, it looks like he may be an impact player at the big league level for years to come. If he can continue to learn and develop, he looks good to me. Hayward. Up, this is up, on the up. ground over to first. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And a great job to stick with it here as he gets the first out of the inning. At the plate, Chris Bryant. He's one for two in the ball game. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. And he misses with one here. It's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. Here's Mark Trumbo now. And they're runners at the corners now. Right fielder, Mark Trumbo. The one two. Bounced softly in front of the plate. Throw will be too late at first. It'll be an infield single as the run comes in to score. You know, Dero, as a pitcher, that could be so frustrating. You're taught to try to go out there and make quality pitches, and that was a really good pitch. And I would be willing to bet you he's surprised that that turned into an infield single. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's smiling. That hitter's smiling. Into the box, number 87. And he'll complete the cycle if he can blast one over the wall here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and a strike to count. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. That's a good pitch right there. But you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet. So he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. Zero. One and two. Yeah, this guy's having a good day right there. You can tell he is all over. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff is going to have to find a way to attack him a little differently. The one and two pitch. Hit back up the middle. And he's safe. You know, D-Row, when he makes a phone call after the game to call his parents and say he had a four-hit day, you think he's going to tell them about that infield single right there oh no that was a line drive in the gap we always used to say on the bench Dan anybody could get three hits in a big league game got to get that fourth one that's what separates you those are the special moments Center fielder. digging in Jason Hayward over two of the run batted in for him thus far and there he goes towards second pulled high in the air out to right field Santana moves over one away It's fair to say that early on at least the runs have come in bunches here this afternoon a high scoring affair thus far and we're only in the fifth inning. Now batting Chris Bryant he's one for two in this one. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. The one one pitch out, nothing doing. Runner at first here, one man out. Three 
Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Well, some may say that's a questionable steal with such a big lead, but to me, it's still too early to worry about disrespecting the other team. I've seen leads like this disappear, so they're going to keep trying to pile on. Slapped hard the opposite way. Oh, and he botches it. Back on another here as the runner scores from second. And that brings up the left-handed hitting right. Travis Shaw. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Aim toward the alley in left center. And that two, finds two, the two. outfield grass for a base hit. And the runner scores from second as they chip into the deficit here. In now, Jesus Aguilar. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Hard on the ground towards second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Boy, that's one of the, I guess. Ready for another shot now, number 87. And he's trying to make this a five-hit ball game for himself right here. First pitch on its way. Fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down-and-in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. No contact there, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Now at the plate, Jonathan Villar. His career line against Pedro Stroke. He's 0 for 5. Jonathan Villar. Hit back toward the mound. And another base hit as this is through into center, and they're in business now to start the eighth. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. 12 to 7, the final score in this ball game. The Cubbies hosted a three run first to propel them to the win. Dan Baker earns his first win of the season. Junior Guerra is slapped with eight earned runs as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head over to theshownation.com.